Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is Cinnamon Vanilla by Great Value, which is Walmart's brand. I'm sure you all know that. So today's high is going to be 83, and we did get rain yesterday. Not a ton of it, but when I let the puppies out this morning, I noticed that the whole deck was wet. So we must have gotten some rain overnight too, which is good. Maybe I won't have to water today. So I don't have any big plans for today. I don't have to take anybody anywhere. I don't have to go to the store. Um, so I'm planning on staying home and just puttering around, maybe working on my dining room table a little bit, which still has a lot of things on it that need to go out into the garden. Because if I don't get that stuff out there pretty soon, I might as well not bother, because we're almost at the end of July. And we have like two and a half months, maybe after that, before the first frost. Our first frost date is the middle of October. That doesn't mean we always get frost then, but that's kind of what you have to plan on. So before that happens, I have to get everything covered up. I usually do that around mid-October. I cover up my outside furniture. I don't bother bringing it in. I just put covers over it. But I do have some plants that I have to save. My uh, elephant ears and my uh, Meyer lemon. And those I'll probably start taking in when the weather starts getting cold at night. So today I have Cinnabon creamer with cinnamon vanilla coffee. So those are kind of my plans for the day. Just kind of work inside. I have to, today would be a great day to pull some weeds out there in the garden since it rained. The ground isn't so hard. So I might do a little bit of that. I'm not having any big huge plans to do much of anything. Cheers. That's good. I still have to get my one grandson over here to put a couple of things together for me. He's been really busy helping his dad work at their house. So he's learning lots of good skills over there. And I definitely don't want to interrupt that process. So um, their, their stuff comes first. Since they're renovating a house and they both work and you know, it, um, it's pretty busy at my daughter's house. So I just kind of have to wait until everything's taken care of over there, which, I don't know, <laughs> it's going to be a long time. But they are making progress, so I'm happy about that. So anyway, uh, that's my big plans for the day. I don't plan on spending any money. But you never know, I still didn't buy that vacuum cleaner attachment that's still in my Amazon cart. And I'm still very seriously thinking about purchasing that so I can clean under my furniture and under my refrigerator. So maybe I'll spend money on that today. We'll have to wait and see. So all right, well, I'm going to meet you over there at the budget book. Okay, back at the budget book. So yesterday I didn't spend any money. So as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I was thinking about cutting back a little bit on the budget book chats, but uh, most of you seem to like it, so I'm keeping it in. And we'll just chat about the budget every morning because I don't mind that, it keeps me in line keeps me from spending too much money because I think about things before I just run out and willy-nilly spend it. 
So the things I've bought lately are not impulse buys. They're things that I've wanted and just haven't bought, put on the back burner. And now that I'm debt free, uh, I have a little bit extra uh, money to buy things that I wanted to buy when I was paying off my debt because I was throwing a lot of money towards my debt. And um, I'm so glad that I did that. And I definitely don't want to get myself in that position again. So I became debt-free in January. And I've maintained that for a half of a year now, a little more than half of a year. Plus, I'm able to set, uh, save some money for um, Christmas and gifts for my uh, kids for their birthdays or whatever comes up. And so I'm very happy about that. So I have a system going where I put $100 a month into a fund that I call my gift fund. And I have um, several, uh, I have a savings account and three different checking accounts with the same bank. But each account has a different function. So, um, you know, if, if you have access to online banking, uh, you might want to think about just creating some extra savings or um, checking accounts that you can access and also put money into. So that makes it very easy for me when I get money every month. I just put money where it goes. It's kind of like the envelope system except I don't have all that cash in the house. I, I don't like having a ton of money uh, laying around, and I don't like carrying a lot of money with me in my, in my wallet either. You just never know. You know, sometimes you lose your purse somewhere, whether that's through nefarious ways or you just put it down somewhere and you forget you left it there. So uh, that's happened to me. And I still remember, it was so traumatic, I was at my, uh, this was years and years ago, but I was at my high school, it was like a pre-prom, I think, dance, and I was there with my uh, ex-husband. I mean, we met when we were 16, so we were childhood sweethearts, and, you know, um, we, we were together a long time, and we're still very good friends. But anyway, I digress, um, and I had put my purse down. I don't know if we were dancing or whatever else we were doing, and when I got back there, my purse was gone. So even back then, um, some of our high school uh, classmates were not the best. So, But that left such a, a, a traumatic impact on me that... Um, you know, I, I just, I'm very careful with that. Another time it happened that um, I was out uh, dancing um, and I left my purse by the table, wherever it was. And uh, usually, you know, I had my purse within eyes, eye reach. And when I got back, my purse was gone. Now, fortunately, I found it. Somebody had snatched it, taken it into the ladies' room. So it was a woman, and the wallet somehow fell out. So they didn't find my wallet, but I found the wallet on the floor of the bathroom, So and also the purse. But, um, you know, that was kind of... A little bit of divine intervention there that I even found the purse. So anyway, um, that's happened to me a couple times, so I do not like to keep a lot of money in my purse. Um, so, and you know, your credit cards, you can always put a freeze on those. But I don't have a ton of credit cards in my purse either. You know, just just basics like Costco if I need it, and, um, um, you know, debit card, things like that. So I don't keep a lot in my purse anymore. I, I keep my wallet, my cell phone, um, 
a hair tie for when it gets too hot, a lipstick, uh, some extra keys like to my mom's house, and um, what else? Of course, my driver's license. And that's pretty much it. So I travel pretty light these days. So anyway, um, that is my budget book chat for the day. Be careful with your uh, purses, ladies, especially nowadays with all the creepy people that are roaming around in our country. So... Um, yeah, just be careful. Not to get paranoid. Don't live like that. But, you know, be mindful. I guess that's what I want to say. Just be mindful. So, all right, well, I will be back after I enjoy my coffee. All right, this is my dining room table, and this is all gardening stuff here. Um, I really need to get this cleaned up. This has fountains in it, it's got an outdoor speak, all kinds of speaker there, all kinds of different things. Um, and I really want to get that stuff put away. My grandson has a couple bags there he needs to do something with. I have a little project here that I want to do, um, make like a little hanging thing using this faux um, succulent. I don't know what, what I'm going to do yet, but <clears throat> that's a little project I have going on. So, all kinds of things, um, and I want to get this cleaned up today, or at least organized more. Here I have things that I never planted. Um, I want to get these ferns in, the, in one of the window boxes, if they're even viable anymore, I don't know all the parts to my little fountain outside, um, some rings for tall plants, so all kinds of stuff. And look at this beautiful pothos. And I have these little mushroom water things, they're like a water globe. So it, it's doing fantastic. And then I also put one in my uh, Christmas cactus over here. And uh, I've had this for years, and it's a bunch of different ones. It's Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter, and I put them all in this um, planter here. And ever since I put in the water globe, it, it's gotten so healthy and perky. So um, I have one uh, orchid that's blooming, and I have one that's pretty much dead, so I have to do something with that. These are, these never seem to bloom, but yeah. This window is a southwest facing window, and it's actually too bright for the orchids, but I don't want to move them somewhere else because uh, this is where I want them to live. I know, but anyway. I just love this little hedgehog that I got at Mark's. I got this um, this at Mark's too. And these were like three ninety nine, and I forget it was under five dollars. And this faux greenery I've had forever and never knew what to do with it, so I, it finally found itself a home right there, and. I put the rest of it over here in this little pot that I also got from Mark's. Can't really see the design. There we go. But it's perfect for that too. So, you know, sometimes when you hang on to stuff, you find a use for them later down the road. So, and I had gotten this at Mark's too. I didn't just get these. I've, I've had those. I got them this year, but... I didn't just get them. So this thing over here, didn't really intend this to be a tour of the dining room, but let me move these stools. And this thing over here, I garbage picked from my neighbor when he was moving, and I kind of turned it into a bar cart. It doesn't have wheels. I suppose I could somehow 
jerry-rig some wheels on it, but yeah, I turned it into a bar cart, and uh, <laughs> this little gnome, I got him on Timu a long time ago, and he actually is a cover for wine bottles. So anyway, I just wanted to show you those few things and my messy dining room table that I need to clean up. And um, my son and daughter-in-law got me this. This is my tribute to Bob Ross. And they got me this a long time ago for Christmas, I guess, or a birthday, and he talks. <laughs> he was beating the brush. I miss Bob Ross. I love his shows. Well, there's a lot of them that you can still watch. I have a lot of his DVDs, and I need to start getting those things out. These things I got at Dollar General or somewhere like that, and I always wanted to paint those, um, you know, like a folk art type of thing. So it's got that and a little drawer, which I thought was cute. So I want to do some sort of a folk art painting on those, and I had gotten that big um, thing of acrylic paint that I just stuck under here. And Ollie's for $9.99. I can't get it out with one hand, but there's a lot of different colors there. So I'll probably use that to paint these. I think that would be fun. And then here I just store some of my canvases. I have this big block of styrofoam that I use when I paint, and I can just stick my brush handles in there, you know, if I'm using multiple brushes. So, yeah, I like baskets too. I use a lot of baskets for storing bits and bobs, and it makes it look fairly neat. So, yeah, I got to work on my dining room today, get it all cleaned up. And um, yeah, this is some of my glassware. Now, it looks like way more than what it is because it's mirrored, so everything's doubled. But I cleaned that in the spring, washed everything, and made it nice and shiny. So, and this is a touch cabinet. I just love these corner cabinets. I've thought about getting rid of this big one, but um, I, I'm thinking I, I just want to hang on to it. But I, I think I do want to get a smaller dining room table because it does take up a lot of real estate. So it, it's a fairly big table, and it has two leaves that you can put in it. Now, this is the smallest that it gets. I wish it turned into a round table, but it doesn't. So, yeah, and there's all my huge plants. So there's just a short look into my dining room. And my project for the day. Are you washing your sister's face? Yep, and she likes it. But then her face is always kind of crusty. I know, gross. He loves to keep his two sisters clean. I don't know what happened to this carpet. They're washable. So, is she good now? Is she all clean now? Okay. Yeah, I'm all clean. Don't I look pretty now? Alright. I'll see you later. I look nice now, don't I, Mom? Don't I just look too pretty? She good? You gonna go out? No. Oh, this is where I put the rest of that gray faux succulent. And it looks really nice with my fountain. This is a fountain. 
and these pussy willows light up and yeah I really like my dining room it's a very peaceful room and these are just all my plants I've had for years this one started out as a little plant in a basket and it has just gotten humongous I've even trimmed it a couple times so it loves the skylight area and there's my other corner hutch I have two of them and this is all my painting stuff and a little gnome garden gnome that Tom got me I put a faux plant in there because little pots like that are kind of a pain to keep watered but these are my easels and this all houses painting stuff and this I can roll it it's a cart and this I can put up and it turns into a desk so that I can paint which I have to do because I haven't done that in a long time and I miss it all right I just heated up my coffee thought I'd have coffee with you this morning so cheers so I live mainly on the main floor of my house I, I sleep up in my bedroom but that's about all I do up there I get dressed up there my clothes are up there um, but I would say other than sleeping 90, 80 to 90 percent of my time is spent here on the first floor so it's my, I am determined, it's my mission. Before Christmas this year, I want to have everything on the downstairs floor here organized and purged, and I just want to be done. I don't want to keep continuously going around and around. Now, I know some of that you still have to do a little bit of, but um, I, I'm talking about, you know, general getting rid of stuff that I don't want anymore. Um, it, it's just taking up too much of my time, and I can't do the things that I want to do. I want to paint. I want to garden. I want to cook. I mean, even my cooking is taking a back seat to other things that I've been doing. Somebody riding a bicycle. Since I live on a cul-de-sac, everybody kind of walks around because <laughs> it's a long street and everybody rides their bikes around, but at least the dogs don't bark at everybody that goes by, so that's good. But anyway, I was talking about being done with, with, the, with the organizing and the purging and the fiddling around with all that stuff. So what I'm trying to do is create zones that actually work, like I'll have a zone for when I work on my computer. Uh, now, I like to do that at the kitchen table, but I don't want my computer to live there. So I, But I want to have it very accessible, so um, I have my little reading nook area corner where I watch TV by my recliner. So the computer will live there and when I need to bring it to the kitchen table because I purposefully bought a lighter weight uh, computer this time and uh, a smaller one. So I want a zone for that. I want a zone for relaxing, which will be in my living room. Um, my living room is pretty good. I've pretty much decluttered everything in there that I want to get rid of. I have a lot of books in there, which I'm going to keep because I love books. Um, and there's no reason for me to get rid of them. You know, if, if I get bored, I go to my bookshelves and I pull out a book. One of the things I always wanted was a whole library of just books. And at one point I had thought about doing built-ins in my dining room and just making that whole wall a library wall with um, with a ladder and everything 
<laughs> but then I thought, oh, that's a little bit of overkill. So, but I want to keep my books. I really enjoy my books. So those I'm keeping, and I have purged a lot of them already. Things that I knew, okay, I'm not interested in this anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. And most of my books are like reference books for gardening, for cooking. Uh, I have DIY books. I have um, medical, I don't even know if I'd call them medical books, but herbal, herbal remedies. Remedies, we'll call it. I have books on that. Um, just those are the things that I find interesting, and those are the things that I like to use as reference. Uh, sometimes I just like to go through the books and look at the pictures, like the garden books. I love to do that. Or the recipe books. I love to look at recipes and just get ideas. Since I hardly ever follow a recipe, but I, it still gives me ideas. So I want to have a zone for that, which will be my living room, and that, that's pretty good. I really don't need to do a whole lot more in the living room other than I have to figure out a way where I can keep it clean up to my standards. Now, my standards are not up here, trust me. They're more down here. But, you know, with three dogs, you know, sometimes it gets a little hairy. <laughs> so I have to figure out a, a simple, simple way to keep it clean where I'm not going to be sitting there going, Oh my God, I got a dust. It's going to take me two hours. You know, I, I just want to figure out, I'll probably just do the Swiffer dusting thing. And then I want to get that tool, that vacuum tool for under the furniture. I think that'll make things really easy. So I want to try that. And, you know, I don't want to spend any more than a half an hour cleaning a room. And I don't want to clean the whole downstairs in one fell swoop. You know, I'll do one room one day, then go progressively go on to the other rooms. Now, I have my dining room, my kitchen, my living room, uh, my foyer, um, my uh, landing that goes down the basement, and the laundry room, and a bathroom down here on this floor. So if I take a room a day and just clean it for 20 minutes to a half an hour, that should work great. At least that's what I'm thinking. The dining room, I pretty much decluttered already last year. There's probably still things that I could get rid of, but I did clean the, the, uh, the curios, whatever you want to call them, and I cleaned the, the big... Um, Hutch. I cleaned all that stuff. I got rid of a ton of dishes that I don't use anymore, but I probably could downsize that a little bit more, reorganize things. Um, I want to get a, a big basket for to put all my teas in, because right now I have a tea box, uh, but I have a lot of teas, so I just want a, one spot for that. And I went to Savers with my mom, like, the beginning of the year sometime. And they had this gorgeous basket with a lid. It was very boho looking. It was about this big. And it was $8. And I could still kick myself for not buying that basket. But anyway, I'll see what else I can find. I want something really pretty. So if I have to go on Amazon and look for something there, uh, then I will, and I'll just have to pay a little bit more for it. But yeah, I still think about that basket. Um, it, it was just really pretty, but I thought, ah, oh, you got all these baskets. What do you need a basket for? But I liked it because it was different, and it had a lid. So there was an opportunity that I missed because I was trying not to spend money. So the dining room is pretty good. Uh, the kitchen, I need to do my cupboards again. I just have way too much cookware. I did my, my stove and my oven. That's good to go. I still need to do this cupboard. The drawers are good. They're organized. 
Uh, my cookbooks are all organized, so the kitchen's pretty good. But I do have to work on cooking down my freezer and my refrigerator because I don't want to keep all that food on hand anymore. But I do want to use it up. I just don't want to willy-nilly toss it. That would be stupid. So, But it is taking me forever to cook down my freezer. So, But what I want is zones for everything. In the dining room, I have a zone that I showed you already where I'll be doing painting because the lighting in there is really good. And it's, it's condensed into a small area. All I have to do is roll it out, and then I can use that and, and do my painting there. So that's a zone I want to set up. Um, my laundry room is good now, too, because I did the pantry. I put everything in mouse-proof uh, containers. Well, they're not really mouse-proof. I know they can chew through plastic, but... I think that mouse is gone. Uh, it either got or it decided, well, this is too much work. I'm just going to go elsewhere. Because I think they come in from outside. I have a woods behind my house. And a lot of times, like, houses with woods will tend to get mice. So, And I walked around the house and patched every little hole that I could find. Because they can get in a hole the size of a dime. So, um, I think that's pretty good now. But, uh, so the laundry room is good. I have that set up. I can easily do my laundry. I have a place to fold my laundry, so that zone is good. My little bathroom, my half bath, is always good. You know, I, I just, it, it's never disorganized or, you know, so that's, that's done. But the kitchen still needs some some um, purging to go on, but I just want to be done. By Christmas, I want to be done organizing and purging my downstairs. I already have a zone where I'm going to put my Christmas tree so I don't have to move a lot of lamps and tables and all that. All I have to do, I have a tall stool, I have a very small Christmas tree, um, all I have to do is put the tree on the stool and put the, um, the skirt around it, and I'm done. So very simple. I'm trying to make everything simple. Um, my coffees, I have a lot of coffees. They're pretty good. I'm thinking about maybe ordering another couple of coffee drawers. Um, that way I can stock a lot of my coffees without having them sitting in a box. So I think I might do that. Right now I have four coffee drawers and I could use another one. So and each one holds 12 K-cups. So I think um, I think it holds what 36? Well whatever. I never said I was a math wizard. So that's my goal. I want a home for everything. I still have to set up my kitchen island. Right now the Frankenstein one I have does work and everything is organized in there. But it's too hard to move it every time I want to get into my oven or the corner cupboard. It's just, it's not hard. It's just a pain in the butt. So I want to those will go in the garage and for storage out there, but I'm not counting my garage as an area that I want to have totally done by Christmas, but um, it's pretty good. I still have a few things that I need to organize out there, um, but I do want to get my car in the garage. I want everything in the garage to be easily accessible. Either I get a two-step step stool for it, um, I have shelving out there, I have cupboards out there, so all the things that don't have a home in my house uh, will have a home in the garage or up in one of the attics. Now the attics are more of a pain to get to. It's a pull-down attic, so um, steps. So uh, 
I keep things up there I don't use too often, like Christmas things or, you know, just long-term storage things that I probably don't even need, but I'm not worried about that. I have no concern about that at all. But anyway, that's my plan, and I hope to get everything done in the next five months so that in December I can just take a breath and relax, and next year, hopefully, knock on wood, God willing, I'll have more time to do the things that I love to do, that I want to do, and I won't have all this nagging in my head saying, ah, no, don't do that, you gotta do that, you gotta work on this. So the same goes for the garden. Uh, the garden has been, I've been experimenting with the garden for um, a few years now. And okay, what is doable? You know, what is realistically doable that I'm not going to have to spend my whole summer tending to this garden? So what I've come up with for that is everything that I'm going to plant next year is going to be in a city picker box or in um, a couple of other raised bed boxes that I have. So to make it very easy, and I also want to consolidate everything in one area so that I don't have to drag the garden hose everywhere I go. Ah, <sighs> So those are my plans. So anyway, let me read you some positive uh, readings from my book. I have to get it. All right, this comes from the little book of Whatever You Do, Be Happy by Julia DeLitt. So this is very appropriate. I just, do you ever just open a book and whatever's in there just kind of talks to you about what's on your mind? That happens to me a lot. I know a lot of people do that with the Bible when they have a problem. They just randomly pick a page and read it and... and a lot of times it offers a solution to what's going on in their life. So anyway, this is what I open the page to. Pick three things to accomplish. Most people don't finish everything on their to-do list every day. Good to know. I thought I was the only one. No, I, I know. But usually because there are so many things on it, instead of feeling overwhelmed or like you aren't putting a dent in your to-dos, Limit your daily list to three core objectives. The stuff you absolutely 100% want or need to accomplish that day. You'll feel more capable of tackling what you need to do and even happier when you see the results of focusing on what's most important to you. Very good. I need to read that a couple times today. So let's see. Uh, Here's another one to make your life easier. Order groceries online. I think I might have read this already, but I need to read it again. Not only will you stick to your actual list and choose healthier options when you buy groceries online, but you'll also get to skip the annoyance of packed stores, long lines, and trying to find a parking spot. It saves you time and money, so you can spend it on the things you really enjoy and check off a big to-do item without the usual stress. So that kind of goes with your to-do list. You can order your stuff online and just cross that off. Check out how your local stores handle online orders, as many have same-day pickup or affordable delivery. So there we go. Whatever you do, be happy. So I didn't get much coffee drink, did I? Or is it drunk? Drink, drink, drunk. Sometimes that happens when you overindulge. You drink, you drink, and you're drunk. <laughs> and you're drunk. <laughs> I, anyway, that's another thing you can do to be happy. Just be silly. Who cares? <laughs> 
if somebody doesn't think it's funny, and at least you think you're funny, that's a big accomplishment, right? I think so. So it doesn't matter if you're older. You know, be silly. People like to be around other people that are silly. I'm not talking about obnoxious. <laughs> I've been around people like that. I'm just talking about silly. Let the child in you come out once in a while. You know, play. Turn on some music and dance. Nobody's watching. And even if they are, they might say, Wow, Grandma, you've still got the moves. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, I should show you my dining room if I get it accomplished today. So maybe I'll just do a real quick blurb at the end of this video if I get it done. If I don't get it done, I just want to say that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Hey, dining room is all cleaned up. I'm very happy. Uh, that gardening stuff didn't really need to be in here, so I put that in a neat box in the garage. So, um, yeah, it's all set. Looking good, I think. So, um, I'm happy this room is done. Not a whole lot more to do in here. Um... Everything has gotten straightened up and organized and purged. So I'm happy with that. Another task done, and now I can just go and sit and relax. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.